Cutting coasters on the CNC router is a breeze, but before I had the CNC I was using my bandsaw and it did a pretty good job to be fair. The jig I used to make them was really simple and they can be made in less than 5 minutes. You can of course spend more time and make a more versatile jig, but for the odd one or two coasters or if you're just after a set size this is perfect. Plus they can also be used for coasters with holes or with no holes if required. Now you can of course just draw around a circle template and cut freehand, but the end result isn't that neat. When I need to make one of the jigs I just use a piece of MDF from my scrap pile. If I'm making a more professional one then I may use these grooves, but as I have a fence on the band so I can use that as my guide. Now whilst not necessary I did tidy the piece up on the table saw. I can use one of the pieces that I trimmed to make a stop for the end of the jig instead of having to clamp it to the table. I fasten this with screws to the jig after marking and pre-drilling the MDF so it doesn't split when the screws go in. The fence is secured and the MDF placed onto the table. With the bandsaw on I just cut into the MDF until the stop prevents the piece from sliding any further and the bandsaw is turned off. I then mark a line perpendicular to the blade. Using a ruler it's just a case of scribing the correct radius which is half the diameter of the circle that you want to cut. So although I'm marking a few points here which is something I'm using for another video, for this particular video I just want a 110mm diameter coaster. So I mark the radius which is just 55mm, taking the measurement from the bandsaw cut slot along the pencil line as you can see here. I also write down on the jig what size coaster the cut will give me. Now for the pivot I like to use these shelf pins as they fit my 5mm drill bit perfectly but I have used dowels in the past too, but I find the shelf pins a little bit easier to remove afterwards. So using the 5mm drill bit I drill the point which I marked off, making sure not to drill into the table, but deep enough for the pin and test the fit. Then it's just a case of marking and drilling the centre of the piece that I need to cut, again making sure that I don't drill through the other side. Once it's placed on top of the pin it's ready to be cut. It's just a case of sliding the jig up to the stop and cutting. I like to use a vacuum to catch the dust, especially with it being NDF, but it's as easy as that. Now if you don't want a hole showing in the coaster there's a couple of simple things that you can do. One is to use double sided tape and attach the coaster you want cutting into a pre-cut piece. Or you can sandwich two pieces together and cut them both at the same time.
Both methods produce nice circles, but I'd say method 2 has the edge, as the bottom piece acts as a sacrificial board helping to reduce tear out in real wood. But it all depends on what you'll be doing with the cut circles. Now this is a really simple jig and I've made many of these over the years. So much safer than using the table saw method of cutting circles and gives a better circle than when cutting freehand. It also gives you the choice of having a hole or no holes in the finished piece. And with a quick pass with a round overcutter, even the MDF makes a useful coarse draw or trivet. Prior to making the videos on YouTube, I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years, serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with, and after years of failed therapy I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically from any employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics, and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interests and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there is additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support, there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below, but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year, and also inclusion into random prize draws open to patrons only. In addition, I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels, or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels, and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support.